Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss will be from Straight Smoke Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good Saturday. Here is Saturday. We got a GTA 5 Online video for you guys. And it's a weekly video that we do where we got a series going here on the channel where it's a, called Yay or Nay. That's where we take a vehicle that's on sale and we give up a thumbs down, thumbs up or thumbs down as to whether or not it is worth the sale price, in our opinion here, collectively on the channel, the four guys that run it. So... That being said, we had some interesting choices this week for vehicles. The Thruster was on sale. The Kanjali was on sale. The RCV was on sale, as well as the Chernobog. Now, uh, the Rocket Voltic as well, the Avenger. Um, now, we have done a lot of these vehicles for yay or nay already. Most recently, the Chernobog. Or Smoke did a great job reviewing the Chernobog uh, about a month ago. And um, all those links will be in the description if you're interested in the Thruster, Kajali, or the Chernobog. All of them will be in the description. But in this video, we're going to be going over the Scramjet. And here you can see that is with the trade price. And I highly recommend you get the trade price. Uh, all you have to do is win a match of Hunting Pack Remix under the Adversary Modes. Hunting Pack Remix, it's very easy. It can be fun as well. But um, yeah, at $2.2 million, it's not real expensive this is a fair discount um it is only 35 percent as opposed to 40 like most everything else but it's real easy to get that trade price so here we go we're taking a look at deliveries uh, unfortunately you do need an avenger or an moc to modify this but liveries and like the engine and the best brakes and stuff like that that's really all you're modding in this this vehicle comes with the weapons you don't need to add the missiles to it you don't need to add the jump to it or the boost all that stuff comes already so unfortunately if you do buy this i mean you're not going to make it as fast as possible you're not going to make it um you know it's just you know the paint job it's going to be you know whatever color you pick out so you can't get this vehicle and have a weaponized vehicle without needing uh a weapon uh, a vehicle workshop in your avenger or your moc here we're doing a speed test. We're going up against some other vehicles with uh, boost, like the Vigilante, the Tordor, and the Rocket Voltic. And here we go. Fire this off. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a moment there. I thought the boost was the stick, because most of the time it is the stick. With these other vehicles in the race, the boost is the stick. Um, with this vehicle, the boost is A. So I had a, uh, had a moment there where I forgot. So I included that because I do screw up quite a bit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the Vigilante is faster than the Scramjet. I won the race, but it did beat the Torador and the Rocket Voltic. And here we go. This car does have a jump. The Scramjet does have a jump. I'm in the Ruiner 2000. J-Cut is in my Scramjet. You can see the Scramjet has a better jump than the Ruiner. So it's got that going for it as well. It's got one of the better jumps in the game. And uh, again, you don't have to pay for that jump. That jump comes with the game. And here we're just doing an explosion test. Here it's just, you know, don't don't take that uh, to heart there. Uh, Orb Smoke was low to the ground, so it was kind of easy to duck those missiles just by moving forward and backward. Um, here we're going 1v1. We're driving straight at each other. Orb in the Mark II. He uses his countermeasures. And yes, this thing doesn't... I never had a chance to even lock on. And you see the Mark II missile actually turns back around and comes after me after it passes. So yeah, the Mark II. This vehicle without countermeasures and defense. And it goes up in one explosion. I don't know. Its defense is nothing. It's offense. The missiles are great. That's good. You know, homing, non-homing. And then you also have the machine gun, just like a Deluxo or something. So, yeah. Um, now it's time to go ahead and rate this as to whether or not it's worth the sale price. And here at the channel, we voted 3 to 4 for a nay. Um, unfortunately, it's a nay. I know a lot of people like this vehicle. And I do like it as well. But there's just other, if you're just starting out in the game and there's other uh, weaponized vehicles that you need to get, 
you know, this is this should not be the first on your list. This is a fun vehicle. This is the three days. We all did want to stress this is a very fun vehicle. I mean, you're gonna you see me and Jay just uh, goofing off here in this thing, and uh, it is extremely fun, just like the Vigilante is fun. Um, but at 2.2 million, we don't recommend it unless you can afford it. You definitely do not break your bank for this, so it's going to be an A, um, even despite it's uh, you know a real easy trade price that you do just from a job. So. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Consider subscribing for more GTA 5 online content, or we'll be back tomorrow with Madden 21.